Hello and welcome back to the second episode of the ATV electrical commercial. I hope you will notice a difference in sound because I bought a new camera, the Zoom Q8 and it has uh, two external microphones and also a wide angle so I don't have to be three meters away with the camera when I do filming. Uh, in this episode I focus on the frame and how I transformed it to this uh, UTV chassis. But uh, you have to bear with some clips in the beginning here because I have the old camera when I explain what I intend to do with this chassis. Uh, I will do a short summary at the time I showed down below here and uh, also this uh, ordinary 8x speed when I put things apart and also I write some text I was trying to do voiceover, but I couldn't make it. It was too <laughs> too hard to be talking all the time. And uh, but I hope you enjoy. And as I said, a short summary and end. I can also tell you that we don't have any snow so far, so I have been not been able to try out the electrical snow bike. I bought some uh, secondhand skis, so I can put on, so I can uh, ride on five millimeter snow without uh, damaging my expensive. Brutal Technique Ski. But uh, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, next video I will concentrate on the electrical conversion. But enjoy! As I mentioned in the first episode I will build a roll cage and I found uh, that uh, Polaris have a model called ACE where they have a roll cage and I found these pictures on the internet. <coughs> Here you can see the chassis and here you can see the, the ATV with the roll cage. Uh, they have a steering wheel and uh, extended wheelbase compared to this one. So I think the ACE model is uh, 1560 millimeters and this is approximately 1300 millimeters. So I will extend this chassis. I'll cut here. Here and uh, take all this away <coughs> and then I will extend the chassis 250 millimeters. I also found uh, a steering wheel at the yard yard and I will fit it into this one. Uh, regarding the conversion itself <coughs> I decided to use the bigger motor 1304 ME and uh, the Kelly controller who I used in the electric cross cart. So what I will do now is start uh, cutting and then I will extend the chassis and put on the roll catch.
Okay, here you can see uh, how it turned out to be. I have uh, extended the chassis to only 60 millimeters, so it will be exactly the same as the Polaris Ace. I put on this roll cage and I tried to make it as uh, similar to the Ace model also. It has the same height from uh, the, the ground up to the top, 760 millimeters. I have uh, put on some new brackets for the radiator. I put on this uh, adjustable steering wheel from a uh, Canon Trackster. I'm waiting for this geared um, steering column so I can uh, don't have to use any uh, power steering. It's uh, two to one, so I can uh, steer without have to yeah break my legs or something. Uh, you see the I use the old gear lever from uh, Polaris. I will use only forward on the electrical motor and then I will use the, the rear and high and low gearing from the transfer gearbox. I put some reinforcements to the roll cage in the end and also put on this uh, winch in the, end, the rear so I can go back in a way if I get stuck in, the, in some muddy hole. I put on some lights on the top, use uh, the lights to, to Hit the plate, top plate. Yeah, that's all. You can also see here uh, where I intend to put the battery. The motor will be sitting here with some. Uh, I will put a sprocket on this one, and uh, I will put the auxiliary 12 volt battery here and the controller, Kelly controller, behind the gear lever. So that's what I will focus on the next movie. So I hope you enjoy and uh, next movie will be all about the electrical conversion with the batteries and so on. See you next time. Bye bye.